Anchoring Objects gives you the ability to take images and graphics and place them within the flow of your text. Here's what I mean. Let's say I've got this great vector image of a flower and I wanted to place them in front of each one of my little items list. So this looks nice and good. However, if I choose my type tool and I start adding paragraph returns, pushing the text down, the images are going to stay in the same place. Not exactly what I want. What I want to do is to have each of the flowers stay in line with the flow of the text for each item. So let's do that. I'm going to erase away these images. I'm going to select one of my images, go up to Edit and Cut. This is going to cut it to my, uh, to my pasteboard. It's not deleted. Now I can choose my Type Tool and let's place my insertion point right where I want the image to be, right in front of item 1. Now with my Type Tool, when I go to Edit and Paste, it'll paste it into the line of copy. In other words, my image is now sort of acting like a character in itself. I can even highlight it. And if I highlight it and copy it, I can paste different copies of it into the items itself. Now let's see what happens when I put multiple returns into it. What I've done is I've anchored that image into the line of this text. If I was to use my selection tool, black arrow, and select the image, you can actually see a little anchor point inside of that, uh, that particular image itself. Additionally, I can change the size of my image and make it larger or smaller based on its needs. Whenever I do that, it'll also push my text over as necessary. You can have options for how you anchor your text as well. I'm going to keep it simple this time, but I'm going to select my object, go to Object, down to Anchored Object, and choose the Options. And this will bring up our Anchored Objects Options box. And there's some different ways you can position it. First of all, by default, things are either kept in line with the text or above the line, or I can choose a custom setting which will allow me to place my object relative to different things on my page. Playing around with this will depend on how you want your images to appear in your box. But by default, inline images will keep everything the same and in line with one another.